Lady Days Off by Connect TV in association with Empire Fight Store. And I'm here at Steel City Gym in Sheffield with Gabriel Kearney. Well, lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely to meet you too. First interview, I know you're very in yeah. you're very nervous. <laughs> yeah, very nervous. I, uh, I did an England boxing interview the other day, but they cut me out, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that means cut? you were awful. Yeah, I didn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you'll make the cut here 100%. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time. Um, we're really grateful to be down here in Steel City Gym yeah. today. So let's introduce you to the Fight Connect TV viewers. Um, when did you start boxing? How long are you uh, here at Steel City? Well, I've been at Steel City for nearly three years come Christmas time. Uh, I started boxing properly. Well, I started taking it seriously when I was 15. Uh, but my dad used to box, uh, be a professional boxer. So I've been, he's had me in gyms when I was like eight, nine. 12, like been in and out until 15 then. I had my first fight when I was 16 and I've had 16 fights since then. Uh, I should have had more amateur fights, but I've had various reasons why I haven't had as many, so. Right, well, let, there's loads of information there. Let's talk about your dad. Very yeah. cool, he was a professional boxer. Yeah, yeah, he was So a, it's in your bloodline? Yeah, it's in my blood, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my uncles, my cousins, everyone in my family is boxed. Uh, my dad boxed pro. He had 15 pro fights. He boxed with Ingalls in back in the 80s, and he had about 50 odd amateur fights. Wow, that's impressive, yeah. right? Yeah, very impressive. Yeah. I think anyone who has any kind of, you know, background or family member that's been to Ingalls, yeah. it's such a good story. Like, how how could your offspring not fight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So I just sort of fell into. It. I always, when I was young, I always said I was going to be a professional boxer, but. I never took it seriously till I was a bit older. But yeah, that's that's really it. Yeah. Can you remember the early days when your dad brought you down to the gym? Uh, yeah, well, I used to, my dad's best friend was called uh, Paul Jones, a boxer as well. He was a world champ. So they used to have me in like, they used to take me to various gyms when I was like eight, nine, sparring different kids. And then I, uh, I used to do a lot of work with Silky when I was like eight and nine, then sort of just fell out of it. Yeah. I remember actually I got, I, I went to sparring, uh, I can't remember where, I was about nine years old and I, I got battered, so. Well, I was, my next question was like, can you remember your first time sparring and yeah. how was that experience? Because I imagine you did get barred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember my first time sparring, but I remember once I went to spar off a kid who was about 14 and I was about nine. And I got my head punched all over. And uh, yeah, it put me off it for a few years. But yeah, I, I but I mean, that, I, that is so good though, because that's where like the fighter is. You know, if I always, especially when you look at children in gyms, when they, are, when they start sparring and when they get hurt, it's when they come back. That's when, that's yeah. the special time, right? Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that's that's how I fell into boxing really. And uh, yeah, I just love it, I love training. I train hard, I think I'm all right, so. Should be able, I should do something in pros. Well, we're out on the street down here is uh, you're very excited about the yeah. professional debut. But uh, let's talk about, you know, the first time that you felt that you were in the right role, that like yeah. fighting was for you. Can you remember what time or, or how old you were when that was? Uh, when I was about, I remember when I was eight, I used to love it. I've, I've loved it all my life. It's just, uh, didn't really, when I had my first fight, then I knew that was it. It was for me yeah. then, yeah, yeah. What is it about fighting? like? Try and find the words to explain to our viewers what it feels like to fight and to win or yeah. to, to be in that yeah. setting. It's just, uh, it's such a buzz uh, fighting. It's like, you just like one-on-one -on -one with another guy, you just got a scrap and then there's a lot, there's a lot more to boxing than just people think just having a, having a punch up. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot you got to think about. It's a lot, uh, it's like a thinking man's sport actually, but yes. yeah, but yeah, I just love it. I just love it for that, yeah. It, 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 it is one of those things where like um, when people say, you know, to box or to fight, like, oh, it doesn't take much. You just have to be strong or you just have to be technical. And it's really not. I mean, it, we see time and time again that you have to be smart. You have to be intelligent to be a boxer. Yeah, if you're, if you're not clever, you won't last long in this sport, yeah. definitely. So, yeah. In terms of the pro debut, do we know? Do we have a date? No. So I haven't actually started doing anything like any paperwork or anything yet yeah. i'm still i'm actually gonna try and go in the Nash, aba nationals yeah. uh i think they're penciled in for end of november so hopefully with covid allowing it i'll get in them but 
I think by New Year, I should be starting putting the wheels in motion for turning pro. Good stuff. And final question, what is the experience or how has the experience been a part of Steel City Gym with this stock, like Sonny Edwards, Charlie Edwards, Dalton Smith, training under, you know, arguably one of the best coaches in the country yes. in Grant Smith. How has that experience been for you? I've come on it so much since I've been here. I think when COVID started, Grant started letting me come in in the days to carry on training. And since then, I just feel like I've got so much better. Just in the last year, I think I've got ridiculously better compared to before. But yeah, and training with all like the top guys, it's like, spurs you on, you know, just train harder and stuff. And like, I feel like, because really out of everyone, I've had the least experience out of everyone. And it feels like I shouldn't be here, so I should train harder. You know what I mean? But yeah, really enjoying it. Who gives you the hardest time in the gym? Janae talks to me a lot. Gives, my, <laughs> gives me a headache sometimes. That's probably it. <laughs> That'll do, that'll do. Well, listen, thank you so much. It was really great to meet you. And yeah. I look forward to the pro yeah. debut. That'll be excellent. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel for Fight Connect TV.